Hey guys, this is AJ with Everyday Patio and welcome back to another patio cover video. So today I'm really excited to do this one. It's gonna be an under wall system and a porch area to like that we're gonna convert into an office area with like glass windows and a fixed glass pane in the middle. So I'm doing this video with Leticia, my wife, uh, Aiden, my brother. I'm really excited for us all to do a video again. It's been a it's been a while and like, I really enjoy it like when it's the whole like family dynamic so I hope you guys enjoy it too. So here we're putting down the bottom track. Uh, I, put, I drilled some holes in that center like crack score mark in the concrete just to help from water infiltration from that point. And then I'm going to drill redheads every two feet. Uh, kind of standard for most of our room builds. Those are the redheads going in, Aiden's putting them all in. And then I was like leveling off the wall right there. And then that's the top track. So the top track has a little bit more of a lip on it. It's like closer to two inches and the bottom track is closer to one inch. So when you lift up your wall systems into an existing wall frame like this, you have to lift up into the top track and then drop the wall board, like wall section down into the bottom track. And that's as Lachisi was sealing the uh, redheads just to make sure no water gets in them. And that's finding the center of the room. So on most room builds, I find the center because then you're better able to evenly space out the wall system from there. And here's the wall system. So all of these we have made out in Ontario and California. So they're all assembled and then we put them in on site. I normally order them a couple inches taller and then cut it to the exact measurement when I get on site. So you can see me right there just removing the one section of it. Then here we're putting it in. So that one slides in. That's wall number one, that's wall number three, and then wall number two, we're gonna disassemble uh, and then put it piece by piece. So it was a pretty tight fit on this one, but um, all three of us were able to kind of maneuver it right. It kind of caught in the top right corner, but we used a spatula and a soft hammer to kind of tap it in. Uh, these full glass enclosures can be uh, pretty tight fits. The more wall board you have, the easier it is to build. And then those are the drop-in windows going in. And that's me using the multi-tool, the masonry bit, to cut in for an outlet. So because they're going to be using this as an office, uh, we added it an outlet so they can power their computer and everything or whatever else they want to plug in there. They had an existing outlet on the inside of their kitchen right there, so we're just pulling off that. I used a quick connect uh, outlet that they provide at Home Depot now. I believe they call it push click connect outlets. Um, they're really awesome, going very quickly and smoothly. And then we just seal around right here. They had like a little wood frame underneath that window when they got it redone. So it pushed out the outlet like a half inch, but uh, sealing around it made it look good. And here's me and the Chisa building the fan. So this one was kind of a surprise to us, the homeowner. We didn't know we were gonna build a fan at first. Um, and then they asked if we could, so we are able to assist them in that. I think it was a great idea because it's gonna help airflow in that room. It's a small space, so it's good, like when you have those windows open to have the air moving. And this fan right now is pretty popular as well. We had a customer this week get it. Um, he really liked it because kids couldn't put balloons in it. Um, I know kind of like a random reason, but I guess it's just a popular style right now. And even though those fan blades are really small, like they push a lot of air. Chase is doing a great job helping me like get that receiver working because it's gonna have a wireless receiver as well. And that's the adapter for the wireless receiver you see coming out of the top of that down rod. And here we're removing the old light. 
So that light looked good. It just, um, again, wasn't really functional. The fan had the light and uh, airflow, so a little bit better of an option for them. Uh, what I did notice when we were installing this fan, like it was like an old wood uh, box from probably like 50 years ago that they had right there. So it actually had to, I actually had to go into like the metal bracket that was above it. So I had to do like four inch screws on either side just to tap into that metal bracket to support the fan. One thing I will say is that the customer mudded the walls before we came out, and I think they look really nice. Uh, you can paint it as well, but it gets rid of that stucco texture they can have against your wall, and it's a, a really clean way to make, like, complete your, your room enclosure or porch area. That's the fan turn it on and it really was pushing air really liked it and now we're towards the end of the video so i just want to thank you all for watching um me lucisi and aiden really enjoyed making this um filming it like we don't we all aiden's a contractor as well like services in turk county mostly so we're all kind of all over the place but it's really fun we, we actually all get together and do a project and it comes out nice so i'm glad to have been a part of this i'm glad to have been able to do it with my entire family um glad you guys are watching if you guys want to like comment and subscribe below for more comment content like this feel free and i hope you have a great rest of your day everyday patio out